Let's take a look at the magnificent new Holden. Note Holden's styling. It's functional, trend-setting and years ahead because it's curved. The curved styling gives you much more room inside, more room than any car anywhere near the price. Plenty of room in the boot too, as much luggage space as you'll ever need. And you have the choice of Holden's three great engines for really spirited performance. You can't go past Holden for value. See your Holden dealer now. Hello, it's Liam from Unique Cars and Parts and I'm with Neil Joyner at the Trafalgar Holden Museum and I'm standing next to an absolutely remarkable HD Holden. Um, uh, Neil's just shown me inside and I'll take some photos uh, in a moment but this is as close as I've seen an old Holden that's just come off the production line. Um, now you haven't told me how many kilometres this thing's done but it can't be very many. It's got 13,000 miles on the clock. That's 13... 13,000 uh, miles, which is just over 20,000 kilometres. Uh, that's since you've owned it, or...? No, 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 that's a, a total. That's all... That's since all since it's it... Ever, ever done, yep. Wow, it's remarkable, and no, it's a premier. It's a premier. And so it's, it's got the wheel trims, the lovely premier badge, most importantly, bucket seats, and they're all leather. And they're all leather, and they smell all leather, and it's just lovely. It was this was the last model of the leather seats. After that, they went to uh, to vinyl, even in the prems. Yeah. Um, now, <coughs> it, it for, for many many years, this was considered the ugly duckling of the Holden lineup, wasn't it? And and there's a lot of people of jokes. I remember as a, as a, a young a young lad. HD, we used to say, stood for Holden Disaster and HR for Holden Recovery. But when you look at it, it doesn't look like such a disaster to me. It's a, it's a really good car. And as you say, you could argue that this is the ugliest uh, Holden ever made. And you could also argue that uh, the HR was the most popular Holden ever made. And the only real difference between the two is they've taken the kidney cutters off the front, as they called them. Now, if you get cut with those, you're going to be in more trouble than just having uh, cut kidneys, aren't you? You're going to be sort of well and truly in hospital. But all they've really done is just uh, square them up a bit, front and back, and um, they put ball joints in the HR, but a lot of the later HDs had ball joints in them and basically no other difference. Is this a later model HD? Uh, this is one of the earlier ones, unfortunately. Unfortunately, well, <laughs> so, yeah, I yeah. But, but, but look at the condition of it. Who, who, who how could you be? So, was it a safety issue with these? As you put it, uh, what, did you, what did you call them? Kidney kidney cutters. Kidney that was cutters. that was what the press did to them. And uh, you know, I don't have a lot of time for motoring magazines and, and the press anyway. But uh, they more or less crucified this by giving it that nickname. And uh, people say, oh, I'm not going to have one of those, not with that sort of phenomenon. Well, <laughs> but it looks good. I oh, it's right. Maybe, maybe it's, it's, it's matured like a good red wine, I think. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's got a matching red wine interior. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. And even the back seats, I mean, back in the day, back seats were sort of a, a bit of an afterthought. But this doesn't have a, your standard bench seat. No, no, no. This is sort of a semi-bucket in the back as well. Um, you had a little fold-down... Uh, centre console that you could sit there with your rest your beer or your red wine on and um, yeah. But it, but legally you could take five in this. Legally you could take five. Yes. Okay. So you just fold the armrest up and, and fold the armrest up and you've got the fifth seat. Yes. Okay. And this is powered by the red motor as as we saw with the EH that was the first uh, Holden. So, so this was the second model Holden to come with the red motor. That's right. Yes, that's correct. And uh, when you bought a Premier, did that come standard with the one seven nine? Uh, no, I think you could still get the 149 if you wanted it. But they had the. This was the first of the Holden's attempt to uh, to really get up market with speed because they bought out the uh, the X2, twin carbs and a few things on them, and they used to uh, move along all right. Yeah. And have you driven this? Well, judging by the kilometres, 13,000 miles. You haven't done many. You've driven it much yourself. No, we don't drive it very much at all. Uh, 
and in fact it's got the old conventional tyres on it. And cross uh, cross plies? Oh yeah, they're horrible to drive on. You don't realise how far tyre technology has come in a few years, but that really is, it's quite a horrible thing to drive. But at least it's got disc brakes, being a Premier, and disc brakes were out in this model, weren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Were, were, were disc brakes out in the EH, or was uh, it the HD? As I remember, the HD was the first of the disc brakes. Yeah. But the, the, the S4 may have had disc brakes. I can't, I can't honestly remember. But, uh, yeah, I think generally they, they were more readily available on the HD anyway. Mm. Now, the Premier, not, apart from having... I think the interior was the, the big lift in over, over your standard stock standard sedans, but there seems to be a lot of chrome bright work around the doors and so on. Was that on the standard models as well? Pretty much, as I recall, yes. I think they're all uh, uh, a fair amount of chrome work, yes. And, and what, what are your long-term intentions? This is, this is going to the grave with you, I would imagine. It'll be here for long after I'm gone, I can assure you. I've, yeah. got, I've got a grandson who's sort of very keen on a few of the cars and he ain't going to let them go either. Uh, 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 is this the top of his list? Pretty much. <laughs> so, I don't blame him. Okay, so... Shaped by the rugged wind and the powerful sea, the oldest of continents with elemental beauty and power that's the perfect setting for the new 1966 Turbo Smooth Holden. Look, look closer, look again. This year, Holden's gone all out on everything except the price. New styling, new power, new comfort. Years and years have gone into proving Holden's rugged reliability. Now Holden has been engineered to a new turbo smooth power. You only have to drive it once to discover nothing else will do. It's the all-time high in Holden's. The new turbo smooth Holden for 1966. So we've moved over from the HD to the HR, and as you were saying, it, Holden went from what was arguably the most unpopular model to the most popular model, and only with a very few minor styling changes. Yeah, yeah very, very minor uh, styling changes, as you can see. Everything's sort of very much the same. Um, and yeah, it amazes me that you can take a car, two cars that are so similar and yet one of them is completely, is, has, was totally unacceptable to the, the motoring public. And, and, the, and the kidney cutters, as you called them, are, are, in a way, are sort of still here a little bit, but nowhere near as pronounced as on the HD. No, nowhere near as pronounced, and I think that might have been a bit of Holden's pig-headedness too, just to sort of uh, keep retain just a hint of it. And even, even though we're over here talking about the HR, and standing at the front of the HD and looking back on it, um, you can see that uh, those kidney cutters looks to me like they would actually stop a little bit of the headlight functioning. Well, it never worked in in, um, in operation because the headlights were on those were as good as anything else around, the Holden wise. So, just an, an optical illusion on my part. Oh, I think it's yeah. And what they did with the HR is they integrated the parking lights into the grill, which looks a little bit fancier. Um, but apart from that, uh, the, 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 there's very little uh, front end change except for the, the reduction of the, the kidney cutters. They put a, well, would you describe that as a hexagonal um, yeah. chrome trim around the headlight? And to, to my mind, the front bumper is not quite as elegant as it is on the HD. I don't think so either. I think the uh, HD is, uh, is much better, but yeah, everybody to their own. And the, the grills, are, other than that, are, other than the parking lights being integrated, very, very similar. Very similar. Yes, that's correct, very similar. Now, um, I hadn't looked at this car in, in, in specifically before we got over here to have a chat about it, but just looking at the interior, I'm guessing we're looking at another Premier. We are. Is this your car as well? Yeah, this is mine as well. You like the Prems? Well, I, I really would prefer um, the, the just the specials, but... The thing about it, sometimes most of the really good 
uh, cars that are around for collection are premiums because they've been looked after, because they were the upmarket version, they've always been looked after a bit more to, a bit more than the uh, the standard one. So they're probably in really good condition, they're more readily available. Okay, and and is 13,000 miles, I'm guessing this one's done a few more, but it, it doesn't look it physically. No, this has got up near about 60,000. Still not a lot of work done, um, but yeah, it's uh, it's in pretty good good condition. Now, well, there's a red motor sitting over there. You've got that out so that people can have a look without you having to pop the hood for them all. Um, how many kilometres or how many miles, I guess, back in those days, would you expect out of a red motor before we had to do a major overhaul? Oh. Well, in the old grey motors, you know, they used to measure it in 100,000 miles before you even touched the head. You get a you get a, a, a good red motor that's been well looked after. Two, 250,000 miles was, you know, nothing to... As long as it's been reasonably well treated, serviced and the like, so yeah. yeah. Now, this is on historic plates. It gets taken out from time to time? Yes, everything we, uh, we've got here, we like to sort of try and give it a run at least once a month. We don't go very far, but... Uh, it's just nice to get them out and loosen everything up and uh, keep it, keep everything lubricated. Yep, absolutely. Uh, and cross ply tyres on this, as as in the HD. Uh, I believe they came out in cross plies. I can't remember now. That we've got radials on this now, so it's uh, uh, it's a little bit better to drive. But a little less original, but um, a lot better on the road than the HD. Much better on the road than the HD. Yeah. Okay. Well. Thank you, Neil. This is again. Thank you. It's been fantastic. I'm loving these. I love the HD um, side by side. I know the HR is the most popular of the two, but when you look at them like this, the HD, there's something about it. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. But as I, back in the day, it was the Holden disaster, and this was the Holden recovery. Yep. Neil, thanks again. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank, thank you. Thank Good you on you, mate. Very much. Bye bye. <laughs> Into your own private world, a wonderful moment of discovery. The time is now, and the car is Holden. New 1966 Turbo Smooth Holden. Yes, something's happened to Holden. Look, look again, look closely. The time is now. The car is Holden, engineered to a new turbo smooth power. Your world changes around you when you discover new Holden. This year, Holden's gone all out on everything except the price. New style, new comfort, new power. Discover new turbo smooth Holden for yourself. You only have to drive it once to discover nothing else will do. Now for 66, it's the Turbo Smooth Holden with great new looks and a choice of three new, more powerful engines. The thundering power of 145 horses. Harnessed, controlled, disciplined in the new Holden's mighty X2 engine. Engineered to acquire new Turbo Smooth power, exhilarating new acceleration. The thrust and energy of twin carburetors. The powerful lift and liveliness of increased compression ratios. It's the all-time high in Holden. Now Holden's got more horses. More horses. This is the year, the year to prove the power and performance of Turbo Smooth. Turbo Smooth. You Holden. You only have to drive it once to discover nothing else will do. Turbo smooth, turbo smooth, you holding. Saturday, Saturday, it's a Saturday kind of car, a Saturday kind of car. Holden, ahead again in 67, with more room here than any other station sedan in its class. More comfort, more style, the perfect car for families on the go. It's a Saturday, Saturday, Saturday kind of car. Yes, any way you look at it, Holden has it for less. 
It's the best doggone wagon you can buy. Costs less, performs best. It's a Saturday, Saturday, Saturday kind of car. It's a Saturday kind of car. See your Holden dealer and save. That little added touch can make so much difference, even when you've got something as beautiful as this, the exciting Turbo Smooth Holden. You can add extra comfort and beauty to your new Holden with many sensible accessories from NASCO, the parts and accessories division of GMH. NASCO seatbelt retractors add to the convenience of operation of your seatbelts. You add to your driving pleasure with an Air Chief car radio. A NASCO heater demister gives you warm, clean air while you drive. But insist on NASCO accessories. They're designed especially for Holden by GMH engineers. Weather shield, sunshade, mud flaps, petrol locking cap, wheel trim rings and many more. To get the most out of your new Holden, order NASCO accessories before you take delivery. NASCO accessories at your Holden dealer. With his stockman bill beside him And the black swan cries As it flies, as it flies Oh, Lanky Jack is riding He's riding from west of nowhere To buy his very first car When you've got a country unlike any other in the world That's how you've got to build your men Everything that survives here has been searched out and shaped by the demands the country makes. This is the kind of territory where Holden has been proved. You can find it by the mile at the GMH Proving Ground. When you've got a country unlike any other in the world, that's how you've got to build your cars. On this long, hot, once-a-year ride, Jack Ma came to buy a car. It just had to be a Holden. On the properties out here, you'll find Holdens by the dozen, model after model from the very first Holden ever built. When you invest nearly $10 million in facilities for research and development and spend a million and a half working hours a year on designing and testing, then you get a car that suits Australia better than any other. Here, here or here. Pioneers like Jack Ma become pretty tough, self-reliant people. Pioneers like GMH produce dependable, well-proven products. Cars that are 100% Australian by design, and better for it. To the back of beyond drives Lanky Jack, with his stockman Bill behind him. And the black swan cries, as the long day dies. Oh, Lanky Jack is driving, he's driving the west of nowhere. Driving his very own car, driving Holden. Don't drive a refrigerator this winter. Drive a comfortable new Holden with a NASCO heater demister. Get the fireside comfort of warm, fresh air circulating around your car. When you buy one of these, ask for one of these. Don't be a snowman, get up and go, man. Warm up this winter with a heater demister by NASCO. From your Holden dealer. And your Air Chief car radio goes right here. Wherever you go, you're in the know with Air Chief radio. It swings. It rings. The news and the sports and the traffic reports. Detour. There's a traffic jam ahead. Wherever you go, there's radio. And what you hear is crystal clear with Air Chief radio. Air Chief at your Holden dealers. The only car radio recommended by GMH. Yes, we have our 
ghost towns, places where the gold ran out and the people with it. But now, a new breed of people come back with a car that's made a new kind of Australian history. Holden, ahead again in 67. Holden, ahead in luxury. Ready to take you to new worlds of discovery and enjoyment. Holden costs less than other sixes, yet motoring riders agree it outperforms them. Holden's design for Australia. Luxury, performance, quality. Look at it anyway. Holden has it for less. See your Holden dealer. He'll save you a bag of gold.